Hey guys, this is Tim from Tim's Electronics Lab and welcome back to a new video. Coming straight off a rather messy workbench, I've got these drill internals of a snap-on drill. And a friend of mine gave this to me and said, yo, can you look at it because it's not working, I can't get it to work properly. And he also sent me some pictures of this PCB. And as you might be able to see if the camera focuses, there is some corrosion going on. And also this connector on the wiring harness where that plugs into this connector is a little bit bluish. So I think that we've got some corrosion damage over here and it doesn't seem to be that bad actually. So we might be able to fix it. But first, let's test if this motor still spins whilst applying voltages to it. Because if that doesn't work, then you know it's completely useless to proceed with any repair. So I guess I'll just apply 12 volts to it since it's an 18 volts DC motor. It doesn't really do anything, actually. There you go. Maybe oh, it's it's current limiting. So I guess. What we're going to do is blind and I guess I need to buy a new lip bench power supply because this isn't working. So there's an LED over here as well to give you the light you're working on. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to spray this with some alcohol and see if I can use some Q-tips in order to clean it. Let me zoom in a little for you here. So let's spray this with some alcohol. It's a fairly simple board this one. One chip, a couple of transistors. Maybe a power regulator, not sure what this is. Oh, this is a flat flex connector. Yeah, there's a flat flex connector going to the trigger, I guess. So let's now use some hot air in order to dry it. I think the tracers are fine. It doesn't, didn't look too corroded, so. There you go. And the bottom is also fine. Now, if we switch to the other side of the assembly, there was some corrosion on this flat flex as well. But that's been wiped off, so, so let's actually see if we can install everything. Not sure what side should be up. Oh, there you go. So it's connected now. Connect the battery and see what happens. The battery is full by the way. And positive side is on that side, so it slides in like this. There you go. And let's see if... There you go. We get, we get a light. It's not really that convincing actually. Now it did something, but I'm thinking that it probably is there is some corrosion inside of this connector that's messing up the voltage readings to the battery and that the controller is now limiting the current that goes through the battery because it thinks that the battery is low, the voltage of the battery is low, which it isn't because it's full. Let's just actually insert it a couple of times to hopefully scrub away some of the dirt and corrosion residue that's left on the connector. So let's see what it does. Let's see what the output of the battery is. So it's 20 volts. And it doesn't really change the thing. What's this? Uh, 3 volts. Yeah, that drops. Let me check online if I can find any information on the pinouts of the battery. So I searched rather quick and I couldn't find anything. 
but I'm still guessing that this connector might be messed up a little. What we might try is to solder in some wires ourselves going from the this connector to the PCB. That might fix something and bypasses the corroded connector. It's curious because last time I flipped the direction switch it ran for a little bit longer. Let's actually see what the voltage is on the motor terminals because that might actually give us a hint on what's happening here. If the voltage drops then it's probably current limiting. Yeah, so it's probably current limiting the battery. All right, let's see if I can trace the connector to some of the pins. So the blue one is the left one on this connector now, and I think that it probably exits through this via. And if you follow that via, the resistance is 0.2 ohms, so that's fine. So that's not the issue, and the second one is also fine and the third one yeah it's the LED and has not really not anything to do with I guess this is probably fine maybe we should try and clean the PCB itself but I'm running out of options real quick here let's also see and see if we can clean this flat flex connector up a bit let's just first connect the flat flex header and then the remainings that's a little bit tedious this one there you go and now this one there you go now I don't think that this will have made the difference, but who knows. Oh, you can't change the direction whilst you've got the handle pressed in. Maybe the battery terminals are dirty. Let's clean those. They do look a bit crusty and they clean up rather nice. Also clean the other side. It will be a big joke when this actually fixes the problem. There's a lot of grease, I guess, on the battery terminals. So let's let's flip this over like this, and let's now just shove it in there. And it's not working. You. Damn, that scared the shit out of me. Okay, so it's probably better to actually... Uh, I guess it's working. It doesn't really have a safe stop. I guess that fiddling around with the flat flex fixed the issue. So, thumbs up. Yeah. Wow. I guess that we can conclude this video with a positive end. That it's working again, <laughs> probably. <laughs> it scared the living hell out of me, man. The, the inertia of the, the, the motor flipped everything around and it even disconnected the battery from the connector over there. But hey, it's working. I'm happy, my friend's probably going to be happy. So let, let's live a happy life in the end. Now, thanks for this rather short and probably rather interesting video. You know, I didn't. I just tried things to see if I can get it to work again, and it works again. So, big thumbs up for that. 
So I hope you enjoyed this kind of video. If you did, please let me know down below. And I'll catch you guys in a next video. Bye! Oh, hey, hello. Uh, I, I wasn't expecting you over here. Well, if you want, you can also view two other videos of me. So make sure to click them. And don't forget to subscribe and like, so you always get notified of my new videos.